Hey guys, in this video we'll tell you all you need to know about the winter update of 2020. This is meant to be a quick recap of all the content that is going to be introduced in the game. So let's get started. There will be a new questline that you can start with Eustacio, an NPC in Venor that will ask for your help. After proving yourself worthy, he will tell you to go to the pirates area. You will be on an island where you will also need to complete missions and kill minibuses to proceed with the quest and earn rewards such as the new mount new familiars which will be explained later and new items the new items are for players on the level 150 to 180 level range most of them are alternatives to destruction weapons and offer a better choice than lower level equipment like for example vast legs are slightly better than prismatic legs and caribbean legs are slightly better than dwarven legs but a bit below ornate legs Keep in mind the attributes of these items can change during test server, but the general idea is to cover the lack of equipment on this level range. The familiars are basically appearances of the summons you already have. It is purely a cosmetic addition and no mechanics have been changed. You will be able to obtain a new appearance by finishing the new quest. You will be able to customize it in the customize character section. This is the new name of the outfit window where you will be able to select your outfit, mount and add-ons. Also, from now on, mounts will also be customizable. This will allow you to select the colors for the mount the same way as for your character, although this currently applies only to the new mount. You will be able to train for longer periods of time. The exercise weapons now have two more versions of it with more charges. The enhanced version has 1800 charges, lasting one hour, and it costs 90 tibia coins or 940,000 gold coins and the masterful version will have 14,400 charges. It lasts for 8 hours and it costs 720 tibia coins or 7,560,000 gold coins. You can train with them without any worries since you won't be locked out due to inactivity. For hunting, the quick loot extension will help you loot everything that is stacked in one square. Just loot the square and you will get the loot of the corpses in it. It has a limit of 30 corpses in one stack, but that is more than enough for almost all of us. And the new input analyzer is a tool that will show you the type of damage you will receive with their respective values and percentages, which is useful to decide which protections you should wear. And also the damage sources, which is basically which creatures are dealing the most damage to you, which is also useful for setting up defense sprays. Also, there is a new section in the impact analyzer that counts the damage you are dealing with their respective type. The reward streak protection is another nice feature coming up in this update. You will now be able to see if your character has collected the daily reward right from the character list. You will collect jokers on the first server save of each month, and you can save up to 3 jokers. If you miss a day on your streak, one reward joker will be used and you will continue your streak. The same thing happens if you miss 3 days and you have 3 jokers on you. You will be able to continue with your streak. However, if you don't have enough jokers to cover the missing days, you will reset this trick, but you will get to keep the jokers, if you have any. And last, there will be a new filter in the high scores. You will be able to filter worlds by battle eye type or status in the client high score tab and in the website. This is all what's coming for this winter update of 2020. There can be some minor adjustments as we are still in the test server phase, but the features are here to stay. Location adjustments are not included here. This is treated differently and according to a CM post, we can assume it doesn't have a release date yet. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.